on to the next phase, which is repainting the floor and varithating the walls and these doors. I'm going to put another coat on most everything. And it does make more sense to do the walls first, but I just really want the instant gratification of seeing my floor with fresh paint. All right, so I did one layer of tape there because I don't actually care if I get paint on the wall because it's not going to be visible any of the lower wall. But I did two coats or two layers of tape there because I don't want to get paint on any of that cedar. So this is the paint I'm using, Butone Kitchen and Bath, and the color is Orchid Orchestra. I really, really like this color of purple. It's the same one I used here, which is why I chose it, because then I could use the end of the quart I got in the fall, and then I picked up a gallon because I'm gonna do the whole floor and then the plywood for the new bed, I'm going to paint all sides, a couple coats to seal the plywood. And I chose a uh, kitchen and bath paint because it's durable, and it's made for an environment that's moist. So I figure it will hold up better than um, like normal interior paint, but also have less off gassing than exterior paint is like my line of thinking, but I'm not a paint professional. So anyways, the color is very nice. <laughs> Oh yeah, <laughs> I've got the first coat. That is some pretty quick gratification there, but I think my favorite part is I like the squishy sound rolling on the paint. Does anyone else like that? I don't know. Maybe it's weird, maybe it's not, but I find it very satisfying. There's the pile of stuff I took out of my van, most of it. Some stuff's in the spare bedroom. And I got all the paint off my phone case and tripod, which fell into the wet paint. But yeah, all of these, those three totes and that pile is all like food. <laughs> food and kitchen stuff. It's ridiculous. That's my clothes. Crash pads back there. Gear. Power system stuff. Good morning. It is time for round two of paint. And I think I might actually do three coats. So I'm going to get on this and then we'll see what I get to the rest of today while this dries. You brought the chairs. Yeah, but I'm going to be done before you get your ass in the chair. Yeah, but we'll watch paint dry. Okay. It was very warm in here when I turned on the, uh, it should be, yeah. when I opened the door this morning. Good. Turns out it's easier to repaint, to sand and paint for cleaning than to actually just clean. <laughs> Sometimes, yes. I had lots of supervision today. <laughs> Blair's got the day off, so he's working on his own projects for his camper van. So while my paint dries, I'm just prepping my lumber for building. So it's rough. So I'm just sanding down uh, quickly with 120. And that just gets off any sort of like filth from the lumber yard and like rough spots, smooths them out. And then it's really nice to work with. And I love working with wood. Look how beautiful this cedar is. I love this. Because sanding's pretty loud, I'm using uh, air pods with noise cancellation. So it dulls the sand of the sounder. And then I have music, which comes in very clear. 
and the sandings like sounds really far away so it's a very like nice experience and I get to inspect all the wood and choose my favorite pieces when they're going to be in visible places. You guys being good supervisors? All right, well, it started raining. Um, so I put all my wood away. I'm about halfway through my two by fours. I put all my wood away. It stopped raining. So I've decided to put a third coat on my van floor because it is a high wear area. And so, yeah, while I do that, um, my dad is also working on a metal project, hence the banging in the background. But I thought I'd tell you why I like cedar so much for van projects. So I choose cedar for all my van projects because it is insect resistant, mold resistant, and it um, does a really good job managing moisture. So it can absorb and release moisture. Uh, so I use all my cedar untreated, unsealed, just sanded down raw cedar which also smells really nice um and it's also lighter than pine fir and spruce so it reduces the weight of my build and is much better than pine fir and spruce for being in moist areas which i am i born and raised in bc i love bc the cost of cedar is a little more than other wood but because it's lighter, um, it's, you know, I save, a, I know, a couple hundred pounds on a van build, which in the end saves me money on gas. So unless you're just going to live in a van for a couple months, it is in the long run a cheaper way to go to spend more on building materials that won't get moldy <laughs> and are lighter. So I love cedar. I love the colors of it, the like browns and red tones and yellows so i really like the texture and colors of cedar the smell and all its properties so it is by far my preference for building which is why <laughs> i picked it up on the way here i've had this build done for like i've lived in it for more than five and a half years and i have all this uh untreated cedar that hasn't gotten moldy the only places that have gotten mold on are the birch plywood or maple plywood i'm not sure what i used but and even with sealing it with varathane it's still if it gets moist it gets moldy whereas i have areas of cedar that deal with moisture like the back door uh build back there deals with a lot of moisture and it hasn't gotten moldy and so that that's a huge thing that's a, a serious health concern um and so it's not something that a lot of van lifers worry about because they're in the US and they just go hang out in the desert and they don't deal with the range of conditions that I'm in. And so, yeah, if you're always somewhere really dry, you don't have to consider mold the way you do in the Pacific Northwest or Northern climates. Hey, precious Alice, hiding from the rain. Precious Frankie, hiding from the rain. It's okay, Frank, I don't need supervision to paint. I love you, bud. <laughs> Alice, go get him! Get him! Get him! Oh, don't knock my phone out of my hand, Alice, you little punk. You little punk. I'm just taking a break because it did rain and then I painted. Then I had computer work and now I brought Frank to the back of the yard to get him moving a bit and uh, just spend some time together because he doesn't understand the concept of me doing renovations for both of our good. He just knows that he's not getting as much time with me. Oh yeah, and Alice is here. <laughs> Hi, Alice. Oh my God, are you a grasshopper, Alice? Are you a grasshopper?
We have this nice tree in the backyard and a little baby. All right, well, I didn't quite get through all my wood. I have five more two by fours and one two by two to sand, but I have enough for the first stage of the building project and uh, my wrists and thumbs are pretty sore. So I don't know who will be setting tomorrow, but that's okay because I think if all goes well, I'm about to start building. I'm gonna get cleaned up and I have one more thing I'm gonna do today and that's pull the tape off the painting and then tomorrow I can start coating the walls with ferrothane. Hi Alice. Hi, good morning. You don't want to see Frank. You want to see me. Well, I ended up taking yesterday off the project just to rest. I was starting to feel a little run down and all my joints were hurting and I was just way too tired. And then I realized I didn't have the right length of screws for most of my project. So my mom brought me to the hardware store and now we're here at the nature park where I brought Frank a few days ago with Alice also. So we're gonna go for a nice walk and let the doggies go for a swim. And Frank knew exactly where we were when we pulled in. He got very excited, which is nice to see. So we were last here on Saturday and today is Thursday. So it's like five days, four days. Anyways, I can tell like how much further along spring is already on all the little seasonal plants and stuff, more flowers or more progression of their greeningness. So this uh, tall grassy area that the park has, I guess that is a result of the river flooding. And so it'll flood into this low lying area of the park. And a lot of trees don't like to grow in really wet areas. So it creates this really nice grassland with so many birds hanging out. It's a really, really nice little park to come to. I'm Frank. <laughs> Dude, you are so fast today, Frank. I love to see it. So excited. Do you want to swim? Let go. Let go.
So it is another rainy day and because I'm gonna be working inside with chemicals, I wanna have the doors open, but like I said, it's raining. So I've backed up into the carport just a little bit cause those will hit eventually, um, which makes it dark inside. So luckily my dad has built these nifty light stands cause he's also an excellent fabricator. So when I first built out this van with my grandpa, uh, five and a half plus years ago, we worked together, the two of us, eight hours a day, seven days a week, for three and a half weeks to get it almost done. I was about 95% complete and I called it good. It was like good enough, I've had enough building. I was worn out, I was over projects and I was ready to get on the road. And then over the years, I did little things here and there to the inside, out of shelf here, out of shelf there. But there were a couple of things that were never properly completed. So those are things I'm hoping to get to this time because like I've mentioned this time around, I am not just plowing through the project trying to get it done as soon as possible. Um, I have a job now. <laughs> I wasn't working when I first built this van and now I do have to uh, uh, like edit videos and ship stickers, which are awesome things I love to do. So it has been really enjoyable to do this in a bit more balanced way probably in a way that more people actually build out vans because they do have a home and they have families and they are working in the van build as they go and so i understand why from start to finish an entire van would take a year or sometimes two with supply shortages or unforeseen circumstances to get to a point where you can hit the road so I am two weeks into this now and uh, I'm just about to wipe the like fine, fine dust off the wall from sanding it and then once it dries, I can start putting layers of varathane on just to seal the plywood surface, make it easier to wash and to prevent moisture from the air from seeping in and causing mold because it's not cedar, you cannot get cedar plywood and if this gets moist, it will get moldy. Since time lapses don't record audio, I figured this would be a good time to let you know that Verithane is the brand name. It is actually a water-based wood sealer that I'm using by the brand Verithane. I just use the name Verithane interchangeably with this product. I'm sorry I'm being boring, focused on measurements and van plans and van building. I'm sorry, dogs. I'm sorry. But Daddy will be home soon, and maybe he'll play with you. Oh, Alice. Oh, oh, oh. So good. It's such a difference. Oh. You know, when you're doing projects, it can be pretty tempting and pretty easy to skip these little steps, but in the final product, they make such a difference. It's so worth just taking the time and care to just have a really nice end product. I know that doesn't matter for everyone, but for me, it's really fulfilling. And I spend so much time in here. I'm going to touch this wall so much and I'm going to enjoy it when it's smoother. And it's also going to be easier to keep clean when it's smoother. So I'm gonna just uh, actually pop in my earbuds and finish with this little sand, wipe it all down with a damp cloth, put another coat of Verithane on, let it dry overnight. So yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Hi, um, <laughs> Frank, I'm talking to the camera. <laughs> he just farted in here, it smells so bad. <laughs> He's very relaxed, as you can see from <laughs> His little feetsies in the air. It's so cute. These lights are kind of crazy, but it's just what we're working with today. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed coming along as I continued renovations. This was actually filmed more than a month ago now, which is about the longest it's ever been between me filming something and editing and posting. So it's a little weird. It feels like a long time ago. Kind of feels like a lifetime ago. So much has happened, but 
I'm feeling better and better every day. It's great. I've been actually busy, keeping myself busy the last couple of days and accomplishing quite a bit um, on the van project, on the computer and adventure wise. So it's been, it's been really nice actually. I'm really grateful for it. I really appreciate it more now, even after having two weeks where I was just in bed. <laughs> so yes, thank you for coming along. I really appreciate you watching all the way till the end. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. And we'll see you soon. Bye. Well, if you're looking for something else to watch today, might I suggest the first or second video in this series? This is a renovation series that you're going to be seeing a lot of moving forward. So if you haven't already seen these, I recommend you do. And yeah.